Hey everybody, today we are going to show you how to give a medical injection to both lizards and snakes. First, let me quick introduce you to the three different types of injections that can be given to an animal. First, there is IV or intravenous injections. Those are when medication is delivered directly into a vein. Then there's IM injections or intermuscular, which is delivered into the muscle tissue. And finally, you have sub-Q or subcutaneous injections, which is an injection given to just below the epidermis layer or the skin layer in between the skin and the muscle tissue. So in that thin little fat layer area. Chances are, if you have to give an injection to your reptile, you'll be giving them either an IM or intermuscular or a sub-Q or subcutaneous injection. That's because IV injections usually are only used in vet clinics, but if you have to give fluids, that's when you'd be using a subcutaneous injection. If you have to give them an antibiotic injection though or any other type of medication, you'll most likely be giving an IM injection. And that's because the muscle tissue absorbs medication at a much quicker rate than subcutaneous injections do, so that fat layer. For example, if a veterinarian has to put, say, a bearded dragon under for surgery, if they administered the anesthesia via a sub-Q injection, it would take a long time for that beardy to go under. Whereas if they did an IM injection, it would take 30 minutes, give or take. That's why antibiotic injections are usually delivered via IM injections or straight into the muscle tissue itself. Whereas, say, a dog with diabetes that needs insulin to be absorbed over a length of time, that would be given via sub-Q rather than IM. So there's different purposes for each type of injection. Let's start with how to draw medications from a vial. And before we do this, we just want to mention that we do not condone self-medicating or self-diagnosing your own reptiles as health issues. This is really just a uh, tutorial video to help you if you already have a prescription from a vet that you need to inject into your pet reptile. Sometimes vets will send you home with a needle that's already dosed out, so you have exactly how much you need to administer into the reptile. Other times, though, you are given a vial of the medication and you have to draw it out yourself. So in case you fall into the category of you need to draw it out, we're going to show you how to do that. For the sake of today's video, we're just going to be using a sterile saline solution for our injection. And the first thing you do is take out your needle, take off the cap, draw out your medication with needle side up, and chances are you'll be given a one mil syringe because a lot of reptile medications don't require a whole lot for a single injection. So we've got just the one mil syringe here, as you can see at the bottom. And mils are the same thing as cc, or cubic centimeters, by the way. Now it's very important to read the prescription that you're given by your vet and know how much exactly you need, because if you need 0.3 mils of a medication, you need to draw the plunger down to 0.3 here. However, if it calls for 0.03, which is pretty common to need a very small amount, that means you only need that much. So if you mix it up and you need 0.03, but you misread it as 0.3, you're gonna give your reptile 10 times the dose that they need. So again, just closely read the prescription and how much you need. Needle side up, we're going to insert it into the vial, and then we're going to draw back or pull back on the plunger, and that'll create a vacuum which will pull out your medication. And say we need, we're gonna go with 0.1 of this saline solution today. Pull it out, and we have our injection. If your vet gave you preloaded syringes, then just double check and see if they gave you the exact amount that you need or if they gave you a little bit extra so that you can push out the excess and get the right amount. When you're pushing the needle into the vial, you're actually going to puncture through this membrane which keeps it sterile inside, assuming you're using a new needle each time. And so this will seal the vial again after you pull the needle out. If you notice there are small bubbles in your dose, you can try to kind of flick them out with the needle pointed up. And then when all the bubbles have kind of accumulated near the front, you can push the plunger in to push those out. But that might change your dosage inside. So make sure you have the right amount of dosage still afterwards. Typically small bubbles aren't a huge deal unless they're big enough to distort your measurement there. So again, you can just leave them as is as long as there's not too many of them or too large of bubbles. Now that you have your injection ready, let's talk about how to administer it into a reptile. Your uh, subject over there is not looking too happy right uh, now. You ready for this? I guess we'll start with lizards. Yeah, he's like, no you're not. This is Jazz, one of our surrendered bearded dragons who is part of our adoption program, so he's actually up for adoption. And he's gonna be our model today on how to give injections. Typically they don't like it, and that's why this is often a two-person job. One person to hold the bearded dragon or whatever lizard you have and hold out that leg, whereas the second person can actually do the injection part. With lizards, the injection sites for IM injections are in their biceps and in their triceps. Typically antibiotics are around like 10 injections long, so many days 
apart each, so you want to spread apart all those injections. Typically what we recommend doing is putting an injection in their left bicep, then their right bicep on the next one, their left tricep, and then their right tricep, just to kind of spread around that medication instead of putting it all in one single muscle. When you're giving an injection, it's not that big of a deal, but if you think about it, uh, try to keep the bevel or that flat edge of the needle facing out or away from the body. Apparently it makes it a little bit more comfortable going in, but again, it's not that big of a deal. And we're going to go in between two scales, into the skin in between the scales. Obviously you don't want to put a needle through a scale, because that's you might mess up that scale for the rest of the life of the reptile, and it can't be very comfortable poking through one of those hard scales. When you're pushing the needle in, you want to aim for around the middle of the muscle. If you think about how long this needle is and how wide his leg is, you obviously don't want to push it all the way into the leg itself. You don't want it poking out the other end on a small bearded dragon or a small lizard. So again, you want it to go into the middle of that muscle. Once the needle is in, pull back slightly on the plunger, and if you see any blood getting sucked back into the syringe, that means you hit a vein, and obviously you don't want to inject this into a vein. This is not an IV injection. We're going for muscle tissue here. So if that happens, just pull the needle out and try again in a different spot. The chances of you hitting a vein are very slim, but it's still a good idea to pull back on that plunger just to make sure you're not in one. Once you have a good spot and you push in the medication, put your thumb or a finger over the needle as you slide it out, and then apply a little bit of pressure over the injection site just to make sure that medication doesn't come out, kind of help just seal it up for a few seconds. So we're going to go into his right bicep today. We're going to insert the needle in between two scales, go about halfway down into that muscle, pull back on the plunger slightly. Oh, no bubbles, no blood. So then we're going to push in the medication, put our finger over it as we pull the needle out, and then just apply pressure for a couple of seconds. We're going to let go, and you're done! Good job! After giving a lizard an injection, it's a good idea to put them right into their basking area so that they can warm up, because that optimal basking temperature is when they are most effectively able to absorb that medication. So that's why it's also a good idea to do injections in the morning or around midday, so they at least have the second half of the day to absorb that medication. And again, once it's time for that next injection, you'll want to switch to the opposite leg, and you can move from biceps to triceps just to keep it as evenly distributed as possible. You do not want to inject in the back legs of a lizard though, because then that medication would be pushed through the body and reach the kidneys first, which you don't want to have happen. But now that we've gone over how to give lizards injections, let's talk about how to give snakes one. This is Tutti Fruity, our variable king snake. She's an old gal. She's about, she's close to 20 now, isn't she? Yeah, she's I think an, so. Yeah, she's an old girl. But we also mistook her for a milk snake from yeah, her life. We, we've had her. Right, we used to think she was a Mexican milk snake, but turns out she's just a variable king. So we're going to use her to show you how to do an injection for a snake. A lot of the same information applies for these guys too, as far as drawing medications, make sure it's the right dose, and go in between the scales, but there's a couple of minor differences. Actually, there's only one difference between giving an injection to a lizard versus a snake. You can't put an injection into a leg because they have none. So instead, the muscle you're going to use is actually the muscle just along the side of their spine on either side, and make sure that it goes into the first third of their body. That way their heart can push the medication throughout the rest of their body. So for Tutti Frutti here, we're going to put our injection, again, not on the spine itself. You don't want to push a needle up against a bone. We want to go into the muscle tissue just beside it. So we're going to insert our needle, and again, you want the bevel facing out, and we're going to try to get it into, again, the middle of that muscle, and the needle should go in at about a 45 degree angle, right there. We're going to pull back slightly on the plunger to make sure we didn't hit a vein, which we didn't, and we're going to then slowly push the medication in, put our thumb over the needle as we pull it out, and apply pressure for a couple seconds. And voila, we're done. It is normal to sometimes with snakes, since they have such stretchy skin, see the medication bubble up a little bit where the injection site is, but that'll get absorbed into the body and go away. And just like with lizards, where you're gonna switch from one leg to the next, with snakes you wanna switch from one side of their body to the next and just alternate them for each injection. And just like after giving a lizard an injection, after doing a snake, you'll wanna put them back into their enclosure on the warm side so that they can warm up their bodies and more quickly and more effectively absorb that medication. And again, we do not want to condone self-diagnosing and self-prescribing of medications for your own reptiles. That's something that just a qualified reptile veterinarian should do. This video is just a, a guide to help you learn how to give injections if you are instructed to do so by a veterinarian. But I hope you learned something new today and enjoyed this video, and I, I 
hope you actually never have to give injections to a reptile because that means there's probably something medically wrong with them. But if you do have to, I wish you the best of luck and I hope it goes well and that your reptile feels better very soon. As always, we want to thank our amazing Patreon backers for the generous support and whose contributions helped us get all the supplies ready to use in today's video to show you how to give injections. And thank you to everybody who's watching our videos too. Good job, Tutti Frutti. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for being our model today. She, she gonna get a mouse when she goes back? Yeah, probably. I'll go feed her a mouse and we'll see you next time. So now that we've gone over how to give li Live? livers, livers, Liver. yeah. <laughs> um, lost my train of thought. So there's only one. Oh, from, from biceps to dry. Oh my, oh my gosh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Using it as an example, we're gonna open. First thing you do is you throw the needle on yeah, the floor. Yeah, you throw the first one on the floor, <laughs> then you grab another one that's sterile, 